A couple in Chesterfield gets the shock of a lifetime after their home was surrounded by an armed SWAT team early this morning. Turns out they were the victims of what's called a swatting prank. Swatting is when someone makes a prank call to law enforcement in order to dispatch a large number of armed police or the SWAT team to a particular address. Now the situation shut down the Brander Mill neighborhood for several hours. AJ Nuoco is hearing from that couple. They were all here at our house, but we were just upstairs playing a video game. Andrew Christensen and his wife Judy are always up for playing games. I hope everything's okay. But the young couple isn't much for bad jokes. So I pick up the phone and it's my brother. Um, and he says, hey dude, everyone's looking for you. There's police at your door. You need to go let them in. Um, you've been swatted. Just outside their Midlothian home after midnight Saturday. A search plane in the sky, a row of squad cars on the ground, and dozens upon dozens of officers armed to the teeth. They had like a bullhorn yelling our names. They are, they're trying to get us to surrender. Uh, meanwhile, we can't hear anything. We, we have headphones on. It's just an unfortunate prank that people play on each other. Um, I've heard of it. I just have never really seen it firsthand and didn't think it would ever happen to us. Police confirmed that this was an instance of swatting, a nationwide problem where a person makes a prank call to law enforcement in order to dispatch a large number of armed police officers to a specific address. Andrew says someone made the disturbing prank call after finding the couple's home address by tracing their IP address while gaming. They said that somebody had been murdered at our house and there were people being held hostage. And they were thinking that you were the prime suspect. Yeah, I think so. Walked on. Walked on. The couple says they were handcuffed in their driveway by police. At one point during their video game live stream, officers could be seen searching their homes. We didn't Lots of know guns. how many there were here until I was over the hood of the car getting handcuffed. Swatting is a problem not just because it can tie up police resources, but also because it can become deadly. According to reports, one instance of swatting led to the fatal shooting of a Kansas man by police. While no one was hurt in this instance, the couple says they don't mind the police response. They just want the person responsible to get caught. They need to be educated on how dangerous swatting is. It is a real prank. It has malicious intent. People die from this.